In this short, we're going to look at how we can take a for loop written in C and convert it to assembly. So let's begin by taking a look at our for loop. Here we have a simple loop. We have a counter variable i that's initialized to 0. The condition is that i is less than 10, so we're going to get 10 iterations out of this loop. And our increment decrement is simply i++, so increase i by 1 with each iteration. Inside the body of the loop, we'll use printf to simply print the counter. So what does this look like in assembly? I'm going to use ebx as the register to represent my counter. We'll start by initializing ebx with 0. Next, we'll implement our condition. This has to be checked before the body of the loop is entered. We can use a compare instruction and compare ebx with hex a. This will subtract the right operand from the left operand and update the flags accordingly. This allows us then to use a conditional jump, such as jge, which is jump if greater than or equal to the label end loop. End loop takes us to the end of our loop and simply calls exit process. If we don't jump, that means that ebx contains a value less than hex a or 10. Now we push ebx and call a function printint. And as a side note, I'm not using printf directly here. Instead, I'm using wrapper functions that I've implemented in C. I'll add a link to this video if you're interested in learning more about that approach. After this print, we're done with the body of the loop. And now we can focus on increment decrement. In this case, we're incrementing our counter, so we can simply use the inc instruction with our register. Following that is an unconditional jump back to the comparison. And now this process continues until ebx is no longer less than 10.